it moves us to the other room. We are back with another Roblox Studio tutorial. So I made a video quite a while ago about making moving parts. So that's basically just one way of doing it. Um, if you want to make a, a obby or something where there's like moving platforms in it, uh, so like the player jumps and it moves them to a location, um, this is probably the best way you can do it. I'm not, I'm not sure. It's probably the best way because the other one, the tutorial I made before, it doesn't, it doesn't actually, like, if you step on it, it doesn't actually make you stick to the part. Uh, so that's what I'm trying to do today. Um, so first thing first, make a part. Got this part easy. Uh, so you get this part, stretch it out like that. Let's call this platform. Um, doesn't actually matter, but whatever. Uh, let's put a script. We're not going to be script. Uh, we're going to do that later. But for now, uh, what we need is first... Let's actually get, um, make sure this is can collide, okay. So this default default settings, uh, put another part. This will, actually this, these are not really, actually these are necessary, but these will be like the, our two points of, so point A and point B. So where the point will start or end, kind of. Let's make this uh, any color, doesn't matter. Uh, transparency point five, make sure this is anchored and can collide. This will be, okay, this will be point A. And then you have another one, point B. Point B, point, what the hell, point B? Point B, okay, and make this like whatever color you want it to be. Okay, so I have point, we have point A and point B. Now we can uh, actually make the thing stuff work. So first we need a uh, body position and that's more the most essential one and body gallery you might, might want to use that but I don't think so it might be as essential but I'm not sure just put it in anyways. Uh, so our three properties that we actually want to use is uh, first the goals right. So there's D, max, force and P. Now D is probably like, I don't know it's kind of, kind of hard to explain but like, uh, you have the um, the dampening, I think that's what's called the dampening, how damp it is. Um, so the less it is, the more elastic it will be. That's how that's how I see it. Um, so you want this like under 1000, probably, if it's like a normal size like this one, uh, right? So back to body position. Uh, max force, let's have this 4000, uh, actually 40,000, 40,000, 40,000. So this is like the torque for all uh, axis, so X, Y, and Z. And you have the P, now this one is how aggressive it will be or how um yeah how how fast it will be not really fast but technically it kind of is has to do with something has to do with speed or acceleration um definitely not you would definitely want this less than ten thousand probably like at most one thousand yeah at most if you actually it depends on what, what you want to use it for though like m most likely you want to use it for like uh, what's it called again? You want to use it for obbies, right? By the way, this is oh yeah, this is supposed to be. Hmm. Let's make this like so it's okay. Make this even. Doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, okay. Then we have the body gyro. Uh, this is essentially the same thing. Maybe you want to make the max torque a bit different, like uh, all the same. So for the forty k, forty k, forty k. Uh, the D and P, you actually just want to leave it. Honestly, body gyro, body gyro you probably want to leave it anyways. Um, anyways, then we can finally script. It's actually uh, very simple. It's nothing uh, complicated at all. Uh, that's what's the best about this kind of uh, way of making moving parts. The scripting is not really the essential part. It's the most essential part. I mean, obviously, you need it to make it work. But the scripting is very simple. Now, you can do local part. You will script parent. Then we can do while to do, while to, yeah, I can't spell, sorry, while to do, okay. And then you can have the local weight, local, uh, so delay equals, oh, not delay. Let's do like delay equals how many seconds. So let's make this five seconds. And then we can do, uh, what I want to do is make part dot body position which is what we just edited dot position i think c frame can also work um but whatever position is simple enough 
uh, equals to whatever. Uh, let's make it first the a value, right? The a uh, point a. So give that workspace the workspace that point a, or actually this a, and that position. All right. And wait delay. So however long. So it's five seconds. Delay. Then we can do the same exact thing, except it's point B. So, um, okay. Now, obviously, if you want this, you probably won't, would use this in a model. So not like you won't have like your points all around the workspace. So obviously that you would just change where it's from or how you reference it. And then you do another wait one more time, wait delay, which is five seconds. So this will keep on looping. Now, so far, I think we've done pretty much everything. So let's test it out and let's see how well it goes. Okay, so we see it moving. It might be, you might need to adjust it sometimes uh, if it kind of sinks. But so if I step on this, oops, oops, let me step on this. So let's say I step on this, it moves us to the other uh, part or the other point. Um, yeah. So sometimes it might be a little bit, you know, I, mean, I don't know, it might be a little bit like it sinks down or it rotates or something like that if you step on it, because it's pretty much physics, it's not really anchored. And it's kind of weird, but you just need to make it, you need to adjust the, you know, the body positions correctly. Um, but so far, I think this is pretty good. It should work, it should work fine. But anyways, uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. If you want more, definitely comment down below what you want next. And most importantly, subscribe. And today we're just gonna, you know, jump off the cliff. So yeah, you better like and subscribe for more.